Jeffrey Bezos literally went to space because he earns over $300 million a day and doesn't know what else to do with it. Meanwhile, Amazon Games can't program a running animation and are clearly using a server they found dumped in a canal somewhere. New world. Let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome- Well, the, the engine is called Lumberyard because it's made out of wood. I'm Josh Strife Hayes. Today, we're going to be playing Amazon Games Studios' new MMORPG, New World. Now, in order to set our expectations correctly, let's remember the most successful game Amazon Game Studios has released so far, Airport Mania HD. Wow! In fact, it was so successful, wow. it spawned a sequel. Then they started to work on the new Lord of the Rings MMO right Ooh. up until they decided to not keep making that because they fell out with Tencent, and both companies threw their toys out the pram and sat there seeing who could ignore the other the hardest. Good. So straight off the bat, you no, Good. we are dealing with professionals. Absolutely. New World has been in development for a few years now, and for some strange reason, Amazon didn't send me a beta key. Maybe the guy who was sending out beta keys got called away just before he reached my name and had to tuck Jeffrey into his nice shiny space suit. So I tweeted about this absolute miscarriage of justice, and lo and behold, the absolutely majestic Yorkshire tea sipping knight of the realm himself, the spiffing Brit, sent me a beta code like the absolute gentleman he is. So, New World. Basically, a few years ago, Amazon shouted, Hey, who wants a full loot, hardcore PvP, territory control MMO? I wish I had known that. I'd have given them a beta key too. And about five people put their hands up. But then three of them went to play Mortal Online 2, and the other two realized, oh. actually, they don't want that. So Amazon yeah. said, hey, who wants a PvP-focused crafting-heavy MMO with area control? And the entire player base of Life is Feudal, about 20 people, looked up and slowly started to show an interest. So okay. then they released the Alpha, and it turns out when you tell players who live to grief others to make their own fun, their version of fun actually isn't. So Amazon yeah. Games finally said, okay, Very how true. about we add some PvE challenges and an actual plot and make it somewhat solo friendly and make PvP voluntary opt-in to prevent further That's griefing. That's what they did and like last now year. now we're getting somewhere. If you pre-ordered the game for $40, mm -hmm. you'll get access to the beta. That's correct. You are yep. paying to test their game. You would have assumed they could have taken some of the army yeah. of Amazon employees to yes. test it, but no, clearly the QA budget went on Jeff. They're too busy pissing in bottles trying to deliver uh, chocolate bars to somebody with Amazon Prime on one-day delivery. Venus rocket. Opening cinematic, rainy streets with dude in cool metal mask. It's badass. of 16th century Spanish conquistadors. Fuck such yeah. Such as Pedro de Valvida, Juan Ponce de Leon, or Cortez from The Road to El Dorado. Yep. Chat to a spooky old man with red eyes in a bar. He gives the metal mask dude a magical box, and then we set off for adventure. We are a member of this guy's crew, and now the character creation begins. It's actually a very nice transition from cinematic to creation, Tr but unlike me- I really like that. I, I actually really like like the beginning. I think the beginning of the story and everything is fucking great. Modern character creation engines, there are no sliders. You've got several preset faces, no sliders. And features, shapes, some yeah, hairstyles, and true. a few hair colors. Not the best, not the worst. But what I'm thinking right now, and this thought will come up again uh -huh. often, is this doesn't feel like something made by a trillion dollar company. Character made and we log in. <laughs> now, I'm lucky to be playing at low load times because these yeah, queues true. on launch day were insane. Some people were waiting up to an hour. And as we'll see yeah. later, this game's servers are made of tissue paper and wishes. More cinematic, the whole oh, ship yeah. is destroyed by a huge stone pillar rising out of the sea and we wash up on the beach and the game begins. WASD movement, space to jump, but as we approach the captain, we get attacked. I think the best metaphor for this whole video is the fact that the first time that he logs on, the first thing that he sees is we are investigating server instability in the world. Please check newworld.com for server status. They have improved it though. Combat controls are shown via a quick time event. I don't hate this. It gives us the basics and lets us see the effect of each click. Nice yeah. and simple. Right mouse blocks, left mouse attacks, hold left click for heavy attack, press shift to dodge. Agreed. You've got a stamina bar that's used up when dodging or blocking. It's True. basically cheap Dark Souls. Have a chat with yes, the captain, he cheap. wants his box back, but instead of waiting mm -hmm. decides to melt. Doesn't even give us his sweet mask. Shame. Tab Sad. opens your inventory. This is laid out really nicely. One and two hotkeys bound to your main mm -hmm. and secondary weapons. Quick item slots assigned to three, four, and five. Armor and skilling equipment are all shown. We equip a shield as the tutorial forces us to. We eat some food and then get exploring. How to describe combat? Imagine you ordered Dark Souls from Wish. This is what oh. would arrive. Once you've clicked an attack, there is no animation cancelling. You can't block or roll away from an attack animation once you've started. Nope. And the enemy has no real telegraphing of attacks. There's no audio or 
or visual clue they're going to attack. They just start the attack. And if you block a split... Uh, there is one tell. Uh, they get like a... There's like a white thing that goes around them for the big attacks. But for the normal, like, average attacks, they don't have one. So, like, there is a tell for some attacks, but not for others. And some of the new abilities, or new NPCs in places like Ebon Scale Reach, uh, some of those NPCs don't have tells for their attacks. Like, the large, uh, th they're like the samurai warrior guys. Like, th they don't have tells for, for their attacks either. So, there, there are actually a lot of problems second too late you get hit you just kind of need to know when to block it's not bad by any means it's perfectly serviceable now i personally so here's the problem the problem with the game is that every single npc behaves the exact same here's how every alligator in uh in new world goes he goes like this and then he does his tail thing he goes like this and then he goes like this he goes, rawr, rawr, rawr. Rawr, rawr. he does the tail again, and then he charges. It is scripted as fuck. Every single one does the exact same thing. That's the problem. They do not respond or react, uh, they, they do not react properly. Of Dark Souls combat, and I appreciate the slower, more tactical nature of choosing I'm your serious. move and living with the consequences of choosing the wrong one. But if you're after a more reaction-based action combat system, this will feel somewhat clunky and unresponsive. It is. Kill this elite dude and get a skill point. Using yep. a weapon increases your skills in it, and all weapon skills level separately, so you get better at whatever you use. I mm -hmm. like this system. It rewards time and effort invested into your chosen style. I like the weapon Have a quick thing meander too. up this hill, and we're greeted with the in-game actual start and honestly graphics are nice music is great mm -hmm. atmosphere is lovely combat is decent ui is clean it feels good but it still doesn't feel like a trillion dollar company has made it good i, I agree with that entirely i mean these guys made airport mania hd i, I completely sure agree with they that. can deliver on the world's greatest mmo so yeah, the game takes place that. on the Isle of Aeternum, and as we descend into this pit, we get to see the issue with Aeternum. The island is surrounded and sometimes covered in this stuff called corruption. And here's our old captain friend. He has been corrupted, and now we fight him. This is the first moment I start both having fun and feeling disappointed. This fight isn't <laughs> bad from a superficial standpoint. Animations are smooth, combat sounds are nice, atmosphere is great, but mechanically it's very bare bones. Light attack, block, sometimes roll. This is a set piece of your game's opening and it feels somewhat lackluster. Halfway through the fight, it's the very captain slow. blasts us with a beam of light and we are teleported inland. Now, depending yeah, very, on your server slow. or your real life location or just how Jeffrey is feeling mm -hmm. on any given day, you can actually start in a few separate places. Now, mm -hmm. each start is basically identical. You'll have the same quests given to you by differently named but identical NPCs and you will learn the same skills. Now, here's the biggest difference between this PvP and Crafting Focus Territory Control MMO and all of the other PvP and Crafting Focus Territory Control MMOs. New World actually has something resembling a plot or a narrative and an adventure line that you can follow to learn the basics. You know when people I say... I agree with that. I think that, like, the plot is good. The plot of New World and everything is great. The problem is that the quests take so long to do. You run 30 minutes, 20 minutes to be rewarded with three voice lines. That was good in 1998, but nowadays I think people want something a little bit more, a little bit more in, in, expansive. This game doesn't hold your hand. Well, I've explained before, that's an awful way to introduce new players to your world. You need a small amount of hand-holding until the player is confident enough to go and play solo, and New World does seem to hit that balance quite nicely. There is no mini-map, but there's also no auto-pathing. There is a compass to the top and a green mainline quest symbol to guide you, though. The early yeah. quests are all voice acted, and the voice acting is fine. It's not fantastic, it's just Fine. Maybe some of the voice acting budget went on Jeff's soft little space booties, which I can only assume are lined with mink and probably light up as he runs. And now a small movement issue. <laughs> it seems the motion capture budget ran out mid-stride because running forward takes about three steps and then locks you into this position. And this yeah. isn't just me. Others are gliding around like this too. Now, See, I actually didn't have this one happen to me. Uh, I, yeah, I did not have this one happen to me. I didn't have to worry about this at all disclosure this didn't happen when i played a few days ago but i'm recording mm -hmm. now and it's happening now so this he's is got wheelies yeah exactly 
If you run sideways, it's still fine. This only happens when you run directly forward. As you explore, gather resources and fight, you'll level up, and you can spend your level up points on one of five skills. Strength, Dexterity, Intelligence, Focus, and Constitution. Each stat actually shows you what weapon it affects. This I, I is like a really that. nice design yeah. and makes choosing where to put your points much simpler. Movement I would say just in general, the UI for New World is one of the best UIs for any, uh, any MMO that's ever been made. Uh, I think the, the UI is absolutely phenomenal. With a weapon drawn is not only mm -hmm. still bogged, but actually much, much funnier. This yeah. NPC sends me on a cooking quest, and we get to open the journal. The quest journal is actually fine. Cleanly laid out, easy to follow and read. For all the mechanical issues the game has, the UI design is not one of them. Same goes for the map. The landmass is actually pretty small compared to other self-described hardcore PvP MMOs, which is a welcome relief. Too many MMOs make the map massive but forget to put anything in it. It's going to be bigger on release. My understanding is it's going to be bigger on release and there's going to be more zones. Find open space doesn't mean yeah. anything if there's nothing to happen in that space. But oh, here's a nice feature. Resource spots, such as iron or flint or wood, aren't mm -hmm. shown on the map, but they are shown in relation to a topographical key. You can see the resources you need and then locate the type of land you'll find it in. That would I will be completely honest with you, I didn't know this existed. A brilliant system I did not know if that existed. The majority of colours on the map weren't an I had no idea. identical shade of light brown. So as you adventure around Aeternum, you'll find skilling spots to interact with, shown by the little circle symbol. If you press E, you'll interact with them, pulling up a bush or cutting yep. down a tree. And it does actually affect the in-game model, which is a really nice touch. As far as skilling is concerned, it's basically like giant 3D runescape. And that's not a bad thing. No, it's Pull a up good some plants, thing. gather some sticks, yeah, and pick some great. up from the floor. I have to admit, though, the casual in me is really, really missing having a mini-map. I don't think that would ruin what you're going for here, game. Minimaps are normally quite well received. Back at the Quest Giver NPC. I feel like a minimap would even work in this situation because wouldn't you have a compass or something? I guess you do have a compass at the top. I feel like this is supposed to just be your minimap in general. Use the campfire to craft. You can craft various things at major crafting stations in town. Everything from armor to weapons to yeah. ammunition is all craftable. It is entirely possible and indeed encouraged to be self-sufficient in this game. And the crafting menu is, again, really nicely laid out. Recipes on Any the left, select the one shown in the middle with what you need, and crafting button on the right. Nice and simple. Mm -hmm. We've made a knife from the gathered materials, and now we need to hunt a boar for some food, so we silently mm -hmm. skate up to this unsuspecting boar like the ninja we are, and it doesn't even fight back. Like the boar <laughs> doesn't even care that it's being attacked. Press E to gut the boar, gather some yeah. meat, and run back to the camp. At this point- The mob I'm AI is bad. Like, it, it's just bad in so many cases. It's not reactive in almost all circumstances. It's just a scripted, list of abilities that it does in this order. I'm actually running sideways everywhere because it looks less stupid than just gliding around. Cook the food into better food, then get sent off to search a shipwreck. Environments are lovely. Music yeah, is agreed. understated and fitting. Light rays True. and reflections and textures on everything look nice. Real. The actual level design is top notch. It's Accurate. just the moment to moment gameplay, the combat and the general server status that's really letting this game down right now. First yeah. impressions are good apart from the mechanics. Around the land randomly, usually guarded by enemies. I, I do think like half of the problem with the game, or at least like 30-40% of the problem with the game, is the uh, stability of it. Like the stability of the game is a huge component. Find supply caches. Search them to get stuff, from ammo to weapons to armor. They're basically a little reward for exploring and fighting. Talking of fighting, it's average. There are moments it shines, yeah. like when you've memorized an enemy's attack patterns and you can block or roll at the right time, wasting no time in dispatching them, or when you like can chain a heavy attack and an ability to kill them quickly. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not a bad system, it's just... This game was made by a trillion dollar company. I'd expect something better than I've ever seen before. And that's one of the issues we'll come back to. The game is good, but it's not better than anything currently already out there. Here's a feature I quite like. Traveling to a new landmass shows you the suggested level of the area you've just arrived at in general. But there's nothing to stop you from traveling anywhere. See, this is the perfect amount of hand-holding. The game is saying, hey, I'm not going to stop you doing this, but just so you're aware, it's suggested for this level. It's giving yep. the player all the information they need and then letting them make their own choice. It's the freedom to listen to advice or to ignore it. And this is great. 
There is a more elite enemy on the ship deck. They've got a shield, so you need to use a heavy attack to break the shield block. Some actual tactics. I like this. Another treasured cache gets me a cool It's not an actual tactic. You just keep hitting him until his stamina bar is over, and then you just hit him again. Because while he's blocking, he doesn't do anything. There's actually no... There, there's no gameplay involved. And I do want to show you guys. You guys want to see what it's like to... Uh, uh, to, to do a, a fight in New World. This is the this is the UI. Uh, I was just pulling this up a second ago. This is the UI of the way that or not sorry the AI of these games. Okay, this is me doing the fight. Okay, so I'm fighting this big alligator. This is an elite alligator boss. Okay, this is an elite alligator boss. Oh my God, what's he gonna do? Oh wow, he went the, he did the attack. He does the tail thing. Oh my God, what's going on? Uh oh, uh, he's un uh oh oh nope. Oh. Oh, oh, what's this? Oh, shit. Oh, what's he doing? What's he doing? Oh, oh, he got to go for me. Oh, what's this? Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Well, what's going on? He's, oh, what's he going to do? What's he going to do? Oh, he tried to get me with the, tried to get me with the chomp, dude. What's that? Oh, there's the hit right there. He can't do anything because he's on the rock. He can't handle a rock. How do you think you expect him to handle a rock, man? He's just going to sit there and die. That's the way it works, man. That's garbage. That's straight up fucking garbage, man. I'm gonna be honest, like, that's trash. Everybody fucking knows it, too. Yeah, and then I get chased by a load of zombies. Again, I like yeah. this. It means even at low level, it's a very lethal MMO. You aren't I would unkillable. Say so. I actually wonder I what PvP is like. I promise I will do some PvP before the video ends. Ooh. Oh, awesome. The first spear skill is a throw, like a javelin. And that's you have cool. to parkour over the ship's broken frame to gather some quest items. I like that a lot, and, too. Oh, I damn, think that's awesome. the spear awesome. throw hitbox is actually really nice. Projectiles yeah. are traveling 3D models, and the enemy hitboxes are mapped really close to the enemy model. This some level of, them. of accuracy is essential in an action game to make it feel mm -hmm. fair. A few more quests, yeah, get me a bow, too. and then I'm sent I to explore a local cave. The main problem here is wielding a bow makes the leg running glitch worse. It looks like I'm skiing along with one yep. ski. In the cave, in quite an awesome touch, three of us seem to form this rather impromptu group. I we like this. Talk to yeah, these are cool. We just communicate in the classic MMO way of jumping around and fighting the same stuff. Imagine and that. And then, just as this unspoken bond of camaraderie grows almost as powerful as a spaceship engine, we reach the boss and the others run off and leave me alone like a forgotten Amazon parcel. The Chapman boss is pretty cool, actually. Some minions, some attacks to dodge. My yeah. spear throw has a stun yeah. effect, so that's nice. And killing him gets me some more loot. Mm -hmm. This is basically what the PvE aspect of this game seems to be. Find some corrupted, powerful NPCs guarding treasure. Kill them, get treasure. Back outside, I receive some territory points. With most of the PvP gameplay being focused on area control, your faction can own land masses or cities. And yeah, as you do... In my, in my server, we've lost all of them. Like, there's just this other, the, like, the purple guilds are, like, way more organized than we are, and our guild doesn't do anything, and we just kind of show up, and, like, yeah, the whole map's purple now. It, it, it sucks. Do stuff in each territory, you can earn territory points to unlock certain buffs while in that territory, like reduced trading tax on some market boards, increased mm -hmm. experience, or more faction reputation gained when you do stuff. This is an interesting yeah. system that rewards map exploration, and we'll have to wait and see if it has engaging long-term benefits. Oh, you can also fast travel to places you've unlocked, but you need to spend a resource to do it, and I don't have any of that resource. But I really like this system. It means early game travel is essential, but late game travel gives you the choice of paying to get to places you've already been quicker. It's cost- I'm worried about them making that a microtransaction. Uh, fast travel. I really hope they don't do that, but I think they will. There's reward. Again, it's kind of similar to Dark Souls Yeah, I think that they're the gonna do it. Vessel. The gameplay you've seen was recorded on a new account made to redo the starting zone, but I'm switching back to my main account because I've got a cool pirate costume and I want to do some PvP. Okay, the game has all the standard it. comforts of home, a personal bank account known as a storage shed, a market board auction house where players can buy and sell things, and honestly the town ambience is terrific. The armor and weapons are Absolutely. grounded and yes. just stylized enough to be interesting without being garish. I, lo the I love the way the game looks. The Spanish conquistadors is held really well. The color palette of the bright yep. green foliage contrasted with the darkened timber True. is visually gorgeous. Real. There's a wealth of smaller touches like ferns and birds and tapestries mm -hmm. hanging around. Visually, the towns are really fleshed out and they are a joy to walk around. The soundtrack is Absolute so true. well fit, you don't even notice how much it's enhancing the overall ambience. 
They have knocked environmental design out of the park. I mean, they've basically sent it into space, which is great because now Jeffrey can also enjoy it. And now comes the Joiner Faction moment. It's a territory control PvP game, so of course there are three factions who all absolutely hate each other and stand for different things, yet all somehow coexist in the same town. You've got the Marauders, big angry shouty boys who want to smash you in the face with the hammer of freedom. Yeah. The Covenant, who are all religious zealots and want to hand out free hugs and see the good in everyone. That's despite the, the loser fact that faction. Literal zombies eating people's faces. Yep, that's and the, the loser clearly faction. superior syndicate, who are a bunch of super smart boys who think magic is cool and maybe we should try using that. Oh, quick book. I'm gonna be honest, okay? Like, whenever I actually get into the game, if one of the realms, one of the factions is controlling everything, I'm just going to swap over to that faction. I have no allegiance here. You could do it every three months, so if there's one that's under control, I'm just gonna swap over. Oh, if purple's under control, great, I just play purple, it's fine. I don't give a shit. Running toward a set of steps doesn't actually cause you to descend them properly by keeping you can't it on swap the floor. To the you biggest just one? shoot off the end and then really? crumple into a pile on the that's floor. That's too bad. This is dumb fix this. I like so I that. joined That's the Syndicate design, boys, though, flag myself for PvP, design. and head out into the wild. The global chat is saying something about a fort to the east being attacked, so uh -huh. I get jogging. I may only be one man with a musket, but I can hang back and snipe like the best of them. On my way there, I run into someone from the opposite faction, flagged for PvP. Shoot him he with is a gun. higher level than me, with more money, more weapons, and more armor. He seems superior to me, but I think I can win. He's Bezos, I'm Branson. Let's do this. He's dead. He's so fucking dead. Like, it's so obvious, too. Oh, wait. No. What? He's actually gonna win. What are you aiming at? Shoot him in the head. He's gonna win. Oh, my God. God damn, I actually won. I'm gonna be real with you. I did not expect Holy to win shit. that fight. I guess that just goes to show. That's while impressive. While Warhammer's maybe intimidating, spears are the best medieval weapon. Thanks, Lindy Beige. The fort is far to the east still, so I get running, running through higher level areas, avoiding roaming enemies, sometimes fighting them, and then we face the biggest hurdle so far, the most difficult enemy in the entire uh, beta. A bear? The lag. Oh. Seriously, are the servers yeah. you are using made of the finest potato? Because it's been dire. Every world is lagging. Everyone is crashing. If this is a stress test, how many people were you actually expecting to play? You are a trillion dollar company. You've been advertising this game for five years. How were you surprised when people wanted to play the beta? Every MMO launch ever has been met with day one lag. You should have been prepared for this. Eventually, the lag subsides and I build a camp <laughs> using your mobile respawn point. You just need a As I said, man. The, it, their, their engine is called Lumberyard and it's called that because it's made out of wood. Uh, it's just, it's a trillion dollar company. They can't figure it out. Now they have, I'm going to say this, they have made improvements on the servers throughout the, throughout the time, right? A few sticks and some flint and you can build them anywhere as long as you're not too close to civilization. And just as I'm about to heal up and go and join the Fort Assault team, the server completely crashes. Oh, that's fun. Only the finest potato, That's AGF. fun, dude. The finest potato. Right, so, New World. While I was streaming this a few days ago, I had a really good time. The environmental yeah. design is quality, the ambience is really immersive, yeah. and the UI design, both overlay and in menus, is fantastic. It's got enough guidance and early game quests to teach players all the basics, then it's got a fair amount of PvE content, like map completion and achievement hunting, that you've always got a goal to aim for. You've even got the daily resource quests you can collect from any of the main towns. The crafting is simple to you understand, mean the way I level. a wide variety any of fish weapons, layers? and food that setting up your own build and kitting out your own inventory is going to take you a while. Mm -hmm. It's a solid adventure game. The PvP element right now seems fine. It's just being held back by the lag. The fact yeah, that I could exactly. defeat a higher level using movement and tactics shows it's not just number versus number. No, Sk the reason for that is because they have scaling. That's why. Uh, like a level 12 can kill a level 60. I saw like a video on this. Obviously the 60 has the advantage 100%, but there is a lot of scaling.
Hill does actually seem to matter, or it did when I was fighting. Mm -hmm. My main concern is Amazon is a trillion dollar company. This beta is a month away from full release, and it's just not on the same level of quality as the current big MMOs. It's not got the storytelling and plot focus of Final Fantasy XIV. True. It's not got the depth of builds and deep lore of the Elder Scrolls Online. It's not got the platforming of Guild Wars 2. True. I can't comment on the end game because I don't think anyone's got there yet. It's not a fully hardcore PvP focused game. Like I want to say this. Uh, I am coming out with my review of New World. It's going to be a big one. I'm level 58 and a half. I have been playing this game. I want to show you guys real quick. You want to look at something? That's my play time right there. 228 hours. I have played a lot out of this game. That was 55 yesterday. Two or a fully yes, PvE-focused game like Neverwinter. It's a decent I'm adventure 60 game with tonight. decent enough graphics and voice acting and decent enough combat, but it doesn't yet do anything, any single thing better than anyone else. Mm -hmm. Imagine if this game didn't have the Amazon name behind it and it launched from some no-name studio. Would it still be making the waves it is? Yep. Probably not. I think Amazon uh, probably are not. using You're right about name that. recognition to get people to play. And they have the foundation for a really, really good MMO here. But it needs a bit more polish, some animation bugs fixing, tightening up the combat and speeding up some of the animations and sorting out the terrible lag. If Amazon are willing to invest time and effort into this game, it could be something fantastic. I can see I the agree potential, with that. but as it stands, I don't know That's what, what makes me so mad at New World. The reason why I get mad about this game is this. It's because I am, I am frustrated that it has such a great foundation, and I think the foundation is being squandered type of MMO player you want to appeal to. I don't see it dragging players away from any established game because it doesn't do any one thing better than anything else. Yeah. It's not PvE or PvP focused enough to really hyper focus and capture that demographic. I it agree with that. It seems to be trying to be quite good at everything instead of an industry leader at anything. When the game releases, I'll yeah, review it again and I'll trades. give it a score out of 10. But until then, I will be grinding away, enjoying my time, mm -hmm. because it's not a terrible game. It's just not there yet. I also need to think of a way to repay the spiffing Brit for getting me the beta key. Hopefully he'll be happy with a box of tea bags and doesn't need me to do something <laughs> stupid for a video idea. But until we know... Cheers for watching. He's gonna have to do a something A massive stupid. thank you to all the yeah, supporters on Patreon and Twitch to keep the channel going. You can support from just £1 a month. Check the video description for links to the Patreon, Twitch, Twitter, and our Discord. And as always, have a great day. Okay. So, I'm going to say this. I have played New World enough to have done a lot of content. I have done a lot of the dungeons. I have done a lot of the stuff in New World. Whenever I put out my video, it's going to be the video. That's going to be it. It's going to be the video for New World. I, I can promise you guys that. Like, it is going to be... it. Like, I, I have played the fuck out of this game. Now, have I played as much as some of the dudes on Alpha? Absolutely not. But I've played a whole fucking lot. I've played a lot. It is going to be the video.